After some fiddling, I actually managed to get both standoffs installed. There's now a piece of anti-static cardboard box under the board, so there's no ability for it to short out. And apart from the back not being installed, it's pretty solid. You can almost, I wouldn't do it, but you could probably pick up the pick up the monitor from the motherboard. I think I'm going to mount the power supply right there. Just have it sitting there with the fan facing the bottom so it can suck in air because there is holes. However, I've just noticed the stand might block them off so it might have to have some holes drilled in it. GPU could go there. However, I'm leaning towards maybe a PCI riser and having it sitting in this gap here um, just to get it away from any heat coming off the rest of the components. Um, and the monitor is hopefully, if it's a pretty standard monitor, it should be able to mount to the those mounts there, 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 and there. Sorry if I just gave anyone motion sickness. Um, that should all be good. And yeah, this is coming along pretty well considering it's uh, what one in the morning or something. <laughs> oh, and for a power button, I found this switch, um, which is off my 750D. Of course they seem to do because they sent me the wrong replacement part and I ended up with a replacement front I.O. Um, panel which I didn't need. So I'll be using this switch and I'll be mounting it behind this original button so that will still work and I'll put a power light behind there. And these will be dedicated to the 17 inch monitor. I should be able to just screw things into there. Shouldn't be too hard. some RAM and cutting a hole big enough for the DVI cable at the back. I will make this uh, a lot larger tomorrow when I'm not going to wake everyone up. Let's see if it posts. We've got the power switch. Obviously there's no monitor yet but there will be. Let's have a look. Would help if I uh, turn the power on. I always forget to do that. And With that, yep, we have post, let's hit the BIOS, overclocking failed, yeah sure, let's go into the BIOS, there we go, we are now running that, out of that, I think we should try and get Windows installed in this now, and this lying around, it is failing but it still works, somewhat and it's uh, got Windows 10 on it so we'll chuck it in and see what happens. Let's see if this motherboard will let us boot with the bad smart status drive. Probably not. There we go. Just required a bit of fiddling. So far so good. We're running. We have an operating system. We don't have any fire yet. It's not overheating. Um, it's actually running relatively well. It will need fans though eventually. Um, there are the specs. They're all working. It's got the stock graphics. Only thing we don't have at the moment is any sort of network connectivity because the LAN port is still covered and it's not 6.42 a.m. It's about 2.30 a.m. And I don't want to use the hacksaw on this anymore. And this board does not have any sort of Wi-Fi connectivity. But apart from that, this is going pretty well. So tomorrow I'm going to be going over to my friend's house and we're going to be picking up a 17-inch monitor because I don't actually have any. The spare monitors I have are that 22 inch 1080p Samsung and up there there's a 22 inch 1680 by 1050 Acer gaming series monitor apart from that I don't really have anything oh I have a spare replacement screen for my iMac but I don't have well that's not going to work in this situation because it's too big and it's not a standalone screen um, the whole point of this is I'm going to end up with no cables at the front it's going to look apart from the fact here's the one problem it's going to be a matte LCD, so it's going to be obvious at the front that it's not a CRT monitor. If I could get a glossy LCD, it would make it less obvious, but I'd rather have a matte one. 
Um, I'm going to try and wire up some systems so that these buttons do stuff. Um, there'll be a power light and a power button. In fact, I might try that tonight because I've already got the switch, which uh, as you can see works. Right, a couple of SSDs just arrived for me. These are going to be going in the computer and running in RAID 0 for ultimate speed. They're two Samsung 650 128 gig or 120 gig. Pretty average drives. They, they're, they're not fast, but they're not slow. About 480 megabytes a second read, uh, no, about 520 read and 480 write. I chose to mount the SSDs on the roof of the case because they fitted best. Hello YouTube, this is an update for the CRT Gaming PC. Well, as you can see, I've attached the Corsair Hydro H90 water cooler to the top with a couple of screws, which I will try to make. That one's okay, you, can, you can't really see it very easily. But the other one's kind of a bit more obvious, so I'm going to see if I can get something a little bit smaller and similar to that one. Unfortunately, I, the screw holes don't line up and I don't want to drill, so it's being held in there like that. But it's, it's solid, basically. It's a little bit... A little bit, a little bit iffy, but it's okay. Uh, it's still got the same Pentium, but it's been cooled by water cooler now, so it runs completely cool the entire time. Never even gets warm. Uh, I actually bought a PCI a riser from China, and it arrived in two days, five bucks, and it works as well. So when I get a graphics card, probably a GTX 950 or 960 for this, I can just have it like that or like that because this is not going to work. Um, that light's slightly bent. Samsung SSD, I only got one of those at the moment because it, this motherboard can't RAID. I didn't realise that the Intel H81 chipset couldn't RAID. Uh, you, you used to have another one up there, but I used it for something else. But that works, it's got Windows 10 on it, and um, it has no RAM. I also attached a monitor, I'll show you that in a second. It has no RAM, but I uh, went and picked up this, which is 8 gigs of Vengeance. So we'll pop that in now. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've had to remove the audio from this clip for copyright reasons, but basically I put speakers inside of it. I'm also going to be tidying up the exteriors of the case and adding a decent graphics card. It's going to be a heck of a lot of fun, and hopefully I can get it looking a little bit more professional, because as of now, it's not quite the right cut and fit. See you later.